today we are going to see control transfer instructions okay control transfer instructions what are control transfer instructions okay when a program or when an instruction in a program when we have an instruction such that uh, the control uh, will be transferred to some other location from the current location okay uh, for the compiler that is said to be control transfer instructions we have jump and call instructions there so jump are of two types bit type jump and byte type jump and you have even compare and jump instructions decrement and jump instructions these are said to be conditional jump okay only based on the condition uh, the 8051 uh, microcontroller will jump from the current uh, uh, location memory location rom memory location to some other memory location an unconditional jump call and a subroutine okay call and the subroutine so call and the subroutine will use the stack will use the stack okay i'll tell when uh, uh, we are seeing the call and subroutine and uh, next one is here we are uh, let us see uh, relative jump and absolute jump and long jump so these are different type of jumps okay different type of jump um, relative jump is nothing but it's an 8 bit jump meaning so uh, the code or the program will be stored in the uh, row memory will be stored in the row memory if the PC is executing this jump instruction. Uh, the PC in the sense 8051. If the 8051 is executing the jump instruction, only after decoding it, it will come to know it has to jump to some other car, some other position inside your memory. It has to jump to some other position inside the memory. At that time, what will be uh, done is okay. So uh, this jump, relative jump, is an 8 bit jump. 8 bit jump meaning if uh, the uh, If uh, uh, the compiler is in the current position, okay, current position, the address of the next instruction in sequence will be hold in the program counter. We know that program counter is a 16-bit register. It will be uh, there will be 16-bit address, memory address. Okay, so uh, if it is a relative jump, okay, if it is a relative jump after execution of this instruction, the compiler will come to know it has to jump. Uh, uh, to this 8 bit address how that uh, address will be formed is the program counter 16 bit address okay uh, 16 bit address plus okay the 8 bit address the 8 bit address will be of the range plus 127 d2 minus 127 d okay 127 so that 8 bit address will be added and the new 16 bit address will be formed based on which uh, you will be having a relative jump you will be having a relative jump keep in mind the relative jump can be possible uh, in the forward direction it is plus 127 uh, d uh, assume that each line as a uh, page of a notebook in a memory so uh, from the current position you can move ahead with the 16 uh, uh, 127 decimal places and backward is uh, minus 128 uh, decimal places okay that is your uh, relative jump that is your relative jump Whereas the next one is absolute jump. Okay, absolute jump. What is that absolute jump? Um, assume the uh, memory space from uh, all 0 to triple FH as uh, pages of a notebook. Each page, okay, as a pages of a notebook, each page uh, will be having two, 2K memory space. Keep in mind, uh, each page is having n number of lines. Each line is given an address and each line can store only 8 bits of data at a time. But for our convenience, what we have uh, divided, the uh, how we have divided the uh, memory is from all 0 to triple FH memory is uh, each page is having only 2K space. Okay, 2K space. Um, Okay, so absolute jump is this uh, 2k space. I will be dividing totally, you will be having 32 number of uh, pages. 32 number of pages, and its equivalent is from 00 to 1 of h that is equivalent to 20, uh, equivalent to 20 h, which is nothing but since I am starting from 0, the page number each page is given a page number, each page is having 2k space. 
and each two k space will be having n number of lines and that uh, each line will be given an address so page number 0 will be having from 0000, 0, 0, 0 to 0, 07 double fh that is the address range like that each page is giving having an uh, is given an uh, address range and uh, you uh, will be you can jump within that page range you can jump within the page range okay so for example if you have an instruction if you have a jump instruction in 0 7 triple fh in the line 0 7 triple fh or double fh so if i have a jump okay if i have a jump instruction so the next line is on the next page namely 0 8 double 0 h okay that can be possible okay once if it is here that can be possible automatically your cursor move to 0 800 uh, and then it will start executing from that position but whereas reverse jump uh, at that if, uh, at that line okay at that line is uh, will give an erroneous uh, thing so you at that time you will be uh, going to see the flags based on the errors okay reverse jump will be a difficult when you are at the edge of your page okay So this is your relay to jump. So from jump 80H program counter plus 80H in the forward direction that will be moved here. Reverse direction is also possible when it is specified by a negative address. When it is a negative address, two's complement of the negative address will be taken and then it will be added with the program counter and the reverse jump will be possible in case of relative address. I repeat absolute jump you are going to split the uh, memory into n number of pages that n number of pages is nothing but 32 number of pages and each page is having 2k memory space and long jump is nothing but you can jump anywhere inside the memory from all 0 to uh, triple fh okay and uh, conditional jump okay uh, as i said you have bit type jump instruction and byte type jump instructions in case of jump instruction so conditional jump in the sense only based on the condition you please jump only if there is a jump please jump i mean and if the condition is that's it satisfied you please jump otherwise please don't jump so here the first condition is jump on carry so jump on carry to the relative address relative address as i said it's an 8 bit address so it is related to um relative jump so from the current position you can jump forward plus 120 20, 20, 70 and reverse minus 120 80 okay so jump on carry only when the carry flag is set to one please jump one jump on no carry when there is no carry don't jump okay jb jnb and jbc are bit type uh, instruction bit type jump instruction jump bit jump only when the addressed bit addressed bit address bit where are the bit addressable memory location it is in it is a, a in um, row memory location you have 16 bytes of memory location row memory location those are bit addressable that also you know other than that your some of the special function registers are also bit addressable are also bit addressable so jump bit uh, jump bit if only if the addressed bit is one only if the given address bit value is one then make a jump otherwise you please don't jump okay so the next one is jbc okay jbc jump when the addressed bit is 1 and then after jumping clear the addressed bit that is what that is what given jump bit and then clear okay for example if the bit addressed memory location 03h bit address memory location 03h is having 1 okay then jump to the given relative address jump to the given relative address make a jump okay uh, before jumping you clear this 0 3 h make it 0 3 h is equal to 0 okay this is the meaning of the instruction jbc big comma relative address and then you have even compare instruction decrement instruction okay compare instruction decrement instruction and uh, we will discuss uh, jump on 0 that we have seen now okay Okay, jump on carry is even seen jump on zero is also possible so now by jumps okay
so you have compare instruction decrement jump on uh, zero instruction uh, and then uh, decrement jump on uh, zero instructions and then we will discuss about uh, shortly about all these instructions okay so compare jump or uh, not equal okay compare jump not equal so compare jump not equal is nothing but compare your accumulator content with the content given in the address assume that a accumulator is having 66h and if the address is 55h in the address if we have 64 okay if we have 64 so the data available in accumulator is 66 the data available in 55 is uh, 64 okay is 64 uh, compare these two when there are not equal obviously this is not equal when there are not equal make a jump to the relative address make a jump to the relative address and if the data is directly specified compare jump not equal to the relative address and then if one of the data is the register data and the other data is directly specified jump to the relative address and when the data is specified by the address pointer compare those two data and then make a relative jump make a relative jump keep in mind this all all the instruction compare jump or not equal all these instructions are a relative jump you have a relative address meaning when the condition is satisfied the current program counter value will be added with this relative address and then uh, either in the forward direction or in the reverse direction of uh, range plus 127d to minus 128d you will jump then zero type uh, decrement jump on non zero okay jump on non zero rr comma relative address okay so what does this instruction mean is decrement your register content r re decrement your register content r by 1 by only one value okay let me have uh, 54 uh, 54 here in the register okay so decrement this by 1 so now it will be 53 now this is not equal to 0 when this is not equal to 0 jump to the relative address decrement jump on non zero to the relative address if that is not uh, zero jump to the relative address now decrement jump on non zero with the content okay whatever content that is available in the address for example address is 80h in 80h i am having 20 decimal decrement this by 1 20 decimal 19 decimal you will be having now again this is not zero okay this is not zero so if it is not zero jump to the relative address next one is zero type instruction jump on zero and jump on non zero instruction will check the accumulator data content when your accumulator data content is zero jump to the relative address if your accumulator content is not zero jump to the relative address okay that is your jump zero and jump on non zero okay that this is decrement jump on non zero okay that happens with the register content or any other address but this happens to be your accumulator next is your unconditional jump what is that unconditional jump so far whatever we have seen only with the condition we are making a jump okay only if the condition is satisfied we are uh, jumping to some other memory location unconditional jump is not like that uh, without any condition you please jump that is your uh, unconditional jump so jump at the rate of a plus gptr at the rate of a plus gptr whatever content that is being specified or that is being pointed out by the accumulator accumulator that you add with the dptr and then make it your jump dptr is also a 16 bit address 16 bit register which will hold a 16 bit address either that uh, as like your program counter a 16 bit external memory address can be stored in your dptr so the dptr's current value plus the value that is being pointed out by the accumulator both the values will be added and then you will be making a jump to the uh, to the address concerned so uh, let me assume that accumulator is having 33h in 33 will be having 22h so add this uh, dptr is having 0011 add 0011 to uh, 22 so 22 add these two and then make a jump uh, then here also you have absolute jump uh, a short address range this short address range will be within a page of 2k size uh, size 
you have uh, 32 number of pages that you remember so then it is a long jump you can jump anywhere within the memory so you will be specifying any 16 bit address from all 0 to triple f h that is your long jump then is your s jump okay huh? so that is your relative jump okay s jump is your relative jump and you have uh, an another instruction called no operation whenever this uh, is executed the compiler doesn't do anything that is your no operation statement or no operation instruction in call and the subroutine call again you be having call a call and long call a call is nothing but absolute call l call is nothing but long call a call will be held within the page of a memory of 2k spice uh, size and l call is nothing but anywhere inside the memory you can jump okay so whenever you call instruction for example whenever you are executing a larger program at that time if you want to do repeated operation at that time the repeated function will be specified in the subroutine and then whenever it is required you will be calling the subroutine and the uh, routine will be executed and will be coming back to the main program that will happen that will be discussed uh, it will be discussed in c programming i hope or uh, data structures okay so here whenever you have an uh, uh, absolute call okay what does it will do from the current location it has to go to the subroutine so this is the main program okay so call uh, six, uh, 16 bit address let it be a long call okay uh, long call so l call 16 bit address in uh, the address is 3344 in the 3344 you have a subroutine or a sub program uh, uh, this will be performed this operation will be performed here maybe uh, uh, find the average of 500 number of students okay average of 500 number of students will be done here in the subroutine so perform that operation and return back to the main program and start executing from that point of time so whenever the compiler decodes it okay decodes this instruction so it will come to know it has to move, move to the subroutine and then it has to come back to the uh, main program but uh, no, that is not the case in case of uh, jump uh, instruction until and unless we specify the return okay so here uh, one after executing the subroutine program it has to return to the main program okay so call will every time the call instruction will be associated by a return instruction by a return instruction when you you specify the return instruction it will return to the main program okay so l call is nothing but a 16 bit address here so based on that 16 bit address you will make a jump here perform the operation at the end of this operation you have a return statement from there you return to the uh, main program now so whenever it is executing the current instruction namely l call the program counter will hold the address of the next instruction in sequence okay but once after executing this l call it will come to know it has to jump to this memory location 3344 so the current program counter value will be stored into the stack why we are saving into the stack when there is a return statement you need to return back to the main program only if you know the address you can jump to the main program that is why the program counter value will be stored in the uh, stack pointer so first the lower order address and then the higher order address okay then the higher order address so default stack pointer register value is 07h if you are not changing this value from 08 from 08 uh, in 08 your pc l will be stored and 09 your pc h will be stored okay when when the return statement is executed automatically the pc will retrieve the content that has being stored in the stack pointer and then it will makes to the make a jump to the main program okay this is your uh, call and the subroutine and the return instruction you have one more instruction also uh, in the return uh, that is return uh, from interrupts return from interrupts uh, this interrupt instruction we will go ahead when we, when we are dealing with interrupts okay so with this i'll stop uh, for the uh, control transfer instructions uh, we will discuss the uh, programming in the next uh, session